Morning everyone. Morning. So welcome to our cozy little inside cabin again. Today's gonna be a bit of a weird one. We've said it before, so why not Island was cancelled, so it got cancelled at 8 p.m. for us last night, so we didn't really have time to like have fun and also book an excursion. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're right. So we we start gonna be a bit makeshift excursion-y today. We're gonna grab some breakfast from Horizon again because it's open till eleven. Because we weren't doing Swana Island, we just decided to have a little bit more of a lion because we think we would have been up at about five otherwise. Yeah, we would have so, been really early. Um, so we might have a bit more life today at least. It's a, it's a wing in it kind of day. Let's go get some buffet. This morning for exercise, the instant is a fire located on deck 17, fire zone 2, for exercise purposes. <laughs> so we've just got our breakfast. We're in the horizon. There's some sausage, egg, bacon under that toast. And they're doing a emergency practice thing. So all the crew basically gone now. <laughs> there we are in La Romana. This is a view from outside the horizon buffet. Alright, so we are off the ship at the port of La Romana. It's like we're just in a like an estuary of a river. There's Arbia in all of her magnificence. There's some music playing up there in the background as well. Let's go and check it out. Okay, so we are here at La Romana Cruise Port Terminal. Yeah, we're just gonna have a look around this immediate vicinity, see what there is. Apparently there's a bit with a large pool and a ton of sunbeds. I think we're gonna be, I think it's gonna be that type of day today, maybe. Uh, we'll have a look around a few of the shops and stuff first, see if we can find anything that takes our fancy. Yeah, maybe we can show you these flamingos. There you go, we've got some birds of paradise there. We've got some flamingos over there. Flamingos over there. Amazing. <laughs> we've just found even more of these birds. So these are the parrots and even more flamingos, one even with a flag out of its head. <laughs> Avi is carrying on that safety drill we were hearing earlier. No worries though, it's only a drill. I also just noticed this Nathan's famous hot dog stand, so I feel like we're in America. Oh, and a cat, I feel like I'm in Greece. <laughs> we just went in here, which was a bar and like food place because it was lightly spitting, but the prices were just a little bit extortionate. Mm, expensive. Very expensive, extortionate. Yeah. So we've decided to leave because we've got the drinks package on the ship, so I don't want to spend an absolute That's fortune it. What's here. The part, what's the part? I mean, it's not like the ship doesn't have places you can chill and get in a pool and stuff. Like, this is just a bigger version of it. Yeah, an outside version. But yeah, yeah we can't just fight. Like, I saw one thing, it was $27. I thought, no, 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 no. And seven, seven dollars for a local for a, beer. Ten dollars for a shot. That's insane. Yeah, so we've left. <laughs> so I've just noticed up here at the top of the cruise ship, that's where that skywalk thing is. I don't reckon we're going to do that. It's not really my cup of tea, but it's right at the top. I, I understand now. We haven't experienced X18 and 19 whatsoever yet. Maybe we'll cross our far list today. Brown a drone. Captured Laura's essence perfectly with some of these. <laughs> mm. Bang on. <laughs> As you can probably tell from Laura's brand new fashionable Hawaiian hood, <laughs> we're going back because it's raining. Yeah, liquid sunshine, but you know, yeah. I'd rather it wasn't. Get, yourself, get yourselves an excursion sorted here if you come here, man. I mean, we had one sorted, but you know, we didn't sort a second one when it got cancelled. Yeah, I didn't know you had a pl you were to have a plan B, but I'd say, yeah, yeah, get a plan B. There's not a lot going on there, man. I mean, there's a place you can sunbathe and stuff, but obviously it's raining, so. Might as well do it in the ship. Could do that in the Sky Dome and it's under that's a it. cover, so. That's it, that's yeah. it. Yeah, this is what we meant before about uh, being in a river. It's just kind of in the river. I guess we'll do a, a U-turn and leave, but yeah, it's a, it's a strange one. So we're on the top deck. We've, we said we'd not been here yet, so we thought we'd come and have a look. It's mainly just loads of sun lounges. Yeah, and especially sun today, there's so many free. People are off in port doing their own thing. I mean, even if Sawana didn't get cancelled, Today would not have been a good day for it. We were, no. we were hoping for a bit of a, a screensaver style Caribbean paradise, you know. But anyway, we move. We move. So Laura has come round to the ways of the Pino Pina Colada. Um, the first review that we gave, she Pretty said, neither rain or there, you know. It's really good today. This is very creamy and very, very tasty. Might have been a little lucky the first time. So this is the, what was it, Berry Cooler? Summer Berries Cooler. Summer Berries Cooler, which was from Costa. And I'm, because of me, so I was like, oh, let's show what it looks like. So then we spilled it all over the table instead. And my margarita on top, by the way. <laughs> yeah. It will, I be take five, the blame. it will be five o'clock somewhere in about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so we have managed to find the mini golf and the altitude, which is what we saw from off the ship. There's also a splash pad just down below. 
So they've got the golf clubs and balls just here and pencils and papers if you want to keep score. I don't reckon we will. So this is just another bit of a view of this attraction. <laughs> it is one that you have to pay for and it's like I say it's not my cup of tea but if you fancy a go it's on deck 19. And then just to have a little look at the course there's like a little hippo there, little monkey in the tree. Yeah it's, it's quite novel again. There we go. Got a hole free here. Laura's gonna, Laura's gonna try and go through the hippo. There we go. Also, Dane got a hole in one in the last one, but I didn't get it. Sorry. So nah, just it's alright. Do it every day. It's fine. <laughs> oh. Ooh, got it through the hippo though. I did, I did nice shot. Hippo. Yeah. Highlight activities around the ship for those of you remaining on board today. Close. Okay, so this is a par five for the brave of heart. You can choose to go over the bridge over the water straight into the hole. There's a smaller one here as well, or you can go round. Oh. Let's see what she'll do. Whatever I do is purely very intentional. Oh! Uh, see what Dane does. Task failed successfully. <laughs> Helicopter. Landing here. Dan will be taking his net shot in this little hut. Ooh. I was wanting to bounce it off. Ah. Well, right back where I started, guys. Much better second shot. I'm over here. That purple ball. Got another shot to go though. Oh. Everything to play for still. That hut's looking very tempting. The sun has actually come out now, so I'm getting pretty hot. And I've just remembered we've not got sun cream on. Woohoo! Okay, so this next hole is interesting. We've got Laura here, and we've got a, uh, a ramp that you go up here, and then it'll come back down here and kind of ping pong around there. Or you can go oh. the safe route, which is here and then over here. What will I do? What will she do? Probably dock it over there. Yeah, <laughs> probably hit it straight into the Caribbean Sea. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the Well, she's. I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> She's off. See what Dane's gonna do. It's gotta be, it's gotta be up there. Right, here we go. Okay. Up the ramp. Oh, that is the worst way that could have gone. So we've just finished our golf and I've just seen this on the way out, which is showing what type of things are on the Altitude Skywalk. My favorite is either duckwood or wobblewood. So we're now in the sports centre, somewhere I didn't ever expect to be. Got some shooting sub hoops. Got a play some football. So good. Moist basketball. I don't we're fully netted. Laura's netball queen, so I expect good things here. How is the goalkeeper? Can I throw like this? <laughs> you can throw however you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay, third time to try. It took me a while to get used to just how tall it is. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Hey! <laughs> oh, close. Yeah. Hey! Sports, 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 doing some sports in Crocs. <laughs> 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 you can tell I'm a centre back. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to kill me, ladies and gents. You've seen it here first. <laughs> I've left. Let's we'll see if he comes back this way. I'm not playing in a long time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, I couldn't capture it through the net. Oh, I can sort of see you. Oh. We've chosen a port day to finally get our full view of the Arvia sign, which looks very pretty in its lights. And you're going to see Laramana in the distance behind it. So this is part of the Amber Lounge. I really like the seating in here. I don't think this opens up till later, but yeah, I like these. This is, <laughs> this is my kind of chair. So we've come into Brodie's and I think this is the quietest that we've seen it so far. Like if you imagine back to the other video where we were doing the music quiz and we were sat near the, uh, the dartboard. So while we've got chance and there's not too many people around, we thought we'd have a game of pool. Always been curious about this, haven't we? How does it stay 
like balanced when the sea's rocking. Well, it's around, um, I think they have a gyroscope built into them so it stays level. That's cool. Or like, or like you know, I would give a mechanism for a gimbal works. Oh yeah. Like, but on the scale of the pool, so. So we'll have a game of pool. They also do have dart boards as well. So pool table here. The pool cues are just here because I missed them at first. So we've just come into the glass house. We've got two glasses of wine. Let me let me see if I can find it and pronounce it. So we got the Outer Limits Old Roots since in it. It's a ta valley. <laughs> Actually, we were originally going to go for this one, which I'm definitely not going to try and pronounce. Dane did it before, so maybe I'll make him do it in no. a second. <laughs> but we were going to get this one, but they didn't have it. They said this one's quite similar, so we're going to have a go at this one. It seems just really nice and chilled and airy, and I love the seating area. The atrium is really pretty. Yeah, it's really grown on me. I just wanted to show our view. So we're sat upstairs at the glass house, like I said, and downstairs is Vista's seating area as well, which is it's just really nice and airy, this seating area. We've just been playing some cards for a little bit. We brought our class cards. Look at them, wonderful. Still drinking our wine. And then thinking going to Keelan Cow for some dinner soon. Last time we went, it was after the terrible news about Limelight and that we missed it because we fell asleep. So don't have the best memories of it because mm -hmm. it, we were just sitting in that, that really. Yeah. Um, but now, it's going to be better. Okay, so from the glass house where we've just been, we're gonna go down the very nice fancy staircase. Or is it up? Yeah, we're up. Oh, we're gonna go up the very nice fancy staircase. Don't mind me just thinking we're going downstairs. You know what she says like three times a day? She says, oh, we're getting you to Yeah, I, I've got direction. So we are now seated in the Keelan Cow. Got a really good seat. I'm on this comfy looking bit. Dan's on this chair, but over here. <laughs> so we've just got our glasses of water. <laughs> oh, Dan's dying in the background. Dying at my own joke, thank you. He's just being very funny. Uh, we're just having a look at the drinks for now. So we're gonna have this as sort of like a in between lunch and dinner. Had to think about that, that's what the pause was. I'm gonna have this Jolly lunch Ollie. Lunch and dinner? Where's your northern? Where's They've your gone. Northern? They've gone, Dan. I'm trying to Lunch appeal. I'm trying to appeal to the mass market. Dinner and tea. They've gone. She says dinner and tea any other time. She's changing a person. No, the on viewers. camera, I, I uh, stop because I forget what to say. I never know what to say, so it's better to just say it like that. Lunch and dinner. Right. Where was I? So for my drink, I'm gonna try this Jelly Olly IPA because Nicola recommended it to us, and I've not tried it yet, so. I need to take this recommendation seriously. Let's try it today. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a craft beer. Um, I'm looking at that old peculiar. Second from bottom on craft beers. Oh yeah. I, I really wish, and Pino, if you are listening to this. Obviously are. Get yourself a bit of Tiny Rebel in. Oh, I love Tiny Rebel. Yeah. Ollie, Ollie Smith don't know what he's on about. Tiny Rebel. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so Laura has timed her trip to the bathroom perfectly. She's not here, as you can see. But the starters are, so this is a duck bao bun. Uh, just to take a look on the inside here. It looks like you assemble it yourself. Got a little bit of greenery in there. Um, looks like a sticky sauce. This is gonna be real good. That was amazing. I think the best bao bun I've had and the duck just absolutely slid off that bone. That was incredible. How did, how did you find it? Yeah, I agree. It's up there with one of the best bao buns I've had as well. Uh, that duck was amazing. It was hoisted. Yeah. I was like, it's a sticky sauce before. It's hoisted. <laughs> It was quite spicy, it had a kick to it because we, we we got asked if we wanted chilli, we both said yeah, and I'm glad we did, it, was, it added something to it. Right, so I've gone for the Eagle Banana Bread Beer. It's one of them that I just picked on a whim because I hadn't heard of any of the other craft beers, to be honest, I'm not far from a connoisseur. Um, what did you go for? So this is the Jolly Jolly IPA. Like I said, Nicola recommended this one, so I wanted to try it, and I shall try it now. Also, before I do try it, can I just say, Dane doesn't like the flavour of banana, artificial flavour of banana. <laughs> no. So the fact that he's picked this has really shocked me. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, the, the bananas themselves are great, but anything banana flavoured is, is odd. Um, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does, but you surprised me that you ordered it, because you said you were going to get that other one. You surprised me that you were getting a beer. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Oh, it is good. I think you'd like that too. Dan's gonna try it now. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. Um, yeah, it's an IPA. It's 
quite crisp though. So it's lighter. A bit more than refreshing than yeah. a normal IPA. Good. Yeah. yeah, good recommendation, thank you. I have to return it now for my banana bread. <laughs> so let's see what Dan thinks of the banana bread. Just had a bit of the foam to stop it from overflowing. Very banana -y. Yeah, banana beer. Oh no. Down in one, down in one, quickly. down in one. So our food's arrived and we're both quite shocked how big mine is. So I got the fish finger sandwich. It's, it's like 550. It's like 550. Look at the size of it for 550, to you be get fair. The, the proper steak cut chips, this curry sauce, and yeah, it's on chia batter bread. And it's just, it looks really tall. This is the Prime Minister burger with the pickles removed. It looks great, you get a bit of coleslaw, some, um, well, not quite fries, like, like thick fries maybe. And the burger itself, look at that. Ooh, very excited. Best burger at Seelix, eh? So I'm halfway through my fish finger butty now, but I just wanted to show just how, like, the coating's so good on the fish fingers and just how big the fish fingers actually are on this big chia batter. Such a good purchase. Like, you might think it's a small meal for the price, but it's not. It is a full meal. And I'll do a half half time review as well. There's a cross section and a burger. It's got blue cheese on it. There's a lovely little subtle kick of blue cheese at the end, and there's loads of caramelized onions, so it's sweet. The veg is fresh, that's on the base. The, the meat is good. It's a really good burger. Yeah, we were saying we really? think this could be one of our favorite meals so far. Yeah. If not our favorite. It was really, really, really very good. I believe it only comes second to me for the New York burger that I had in Barcelona. Oh wow. It was honestly a fantastic burger. Mm. And we paid 9.50 for it. That's mad, <laughs> yeah. Best burger at sea. Yeah, 100%. There's a sailor party on starting any minute, I think, with DJ Rigsy, and we want to go and see what that's all about. So hopefully we can show you that in just a few minutes. So we didn't make it to the sail away party and then when we did get there it was raining so we have moved and we moved. We are in the clubhouse, there's going to be some, well there's already music on but there's, it's written in the horizon that there's going to be music on at half past seven and then the band Phoenix are on at eight but we want to watch them a little bit later into the night so we're going to probably head elsewhere at that point and catch them later on in the evening because they're like our party band. Yeah, they, were, they, were, they, they made us feel really good yesterday, man. So let's, let's see what happens. So I have gone for a passion fruit martini in the clubhouse and Dane has gone for a tidal rum, a double tidal rum and Pepsi Max. So we've got our music on, just having a little bit of a relax and then we'll see where we go next. We've come to the casino. Um, they've got wireless charging points for your phone. Like, they are experts at keeping you here as long as possible. Couldn't put that tech in the room, could they? Anyway. So we're going to have a go with these two. because Food Eye, Lion, Lion, Boost Peacock. Oh okay. wait, Boost Peacock over here, Boost Tiger over here. We'll set a target and we will we'll stick to it because when the fun stops, stop. Bet multiplier is what? Ah, okay, so we just bet 880 credits for the 10p. Oh. So now we should get more goals. Okay. We, ma we made an error. We made an error. We made an error. I've stopped playing, I don't like it. Maybe Dan will win our money back. I have no idea what's going on. No, it's two of us. Some wild card, but Wasn't nothing too much. No. So at first it asked you to select a denomination, and we picked MP, and I literally pressed it once, and Dan pressed it once, and then we ran out of money. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm now put off doing this again. Also, update, we're sat in the trees. <laughs>
So we had to come back to the room because my heels were absolutely killing me. I'm not used to walking in heels so much. We had Flash, flashes. She was a warrior though. I went. You you, you you wanted to dance and I was like, come on. You know when you're on the dance floor and like you need to move to a certain spot because like it moves fluidly. And you were just like, no, I'm not moving. I was like, I, I, doing this, but like, no, not stepping anywhere. <laughs> no, I had to stay on the same spot. But I was having the best time. They were choosing the best songs. Like, there was Avril Lavigne. I think I was the only person listening to that one, but I really enjoyed it. And like, everyone don't else you want me, baby? Everyone else, on. everyone else was listening to Abba when Avril Lavigne was on because. They, well, I thought they, they were wrong. We both had a great time. We didn't want to leave, but. As much as we left a bit early, we did want to go and watch Phoenix in the clubhouse and they're on at 11 anyway, so we best be going. Let's take you there. In my comfy shoes. <laughs> So we've come into the 710 Club, aka Gary Barlow's Club. This is yet another change of pace. We're very, very new to this. Good evening, good evening. A little look around this room. I've not been in there before. So that's the stage, obviously. Some of the tables. Let's have a look at these, these wonderful pictures of Gary Barlow. Let's have a look. Here he is. She's going to document the entire facility. I'm just looking at Gary Barlow. Yeah. Here he is, Gary Barlow. Hey, Dane, I didn't expect to be on a couch. You're on a couch, man. Someone told me. You thought we were going to sit on stools, like. Someone told me it was a bench. So we're on a couch. This is great. Cocktails chosen by Gary. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to get one of these, aren't I? Oh, you don't like Negroni? I don't like Negroni. God, Gary. We were in Clubhouse just now when we were dancing, basically. So. We had a really good time yeah. with Phoenix. They are, I think, our standout highlight of the holiday. They've Phoenix been brilliant. Band, that's so good. We're in 710 Club now. We were worried we weren't going to get a seat in 710, which is why you can hear Chelsea Dagger outside from the sound of disco. We had to go for a head over heart type situation and go, go for 710. Thank you so much. Because otherwise, we'd never get in. That's what we've done. Yeah, we heard it was hard to get into 710. But well, we just spoke to our waiter and he basically said the earlier showings of the band are hard to yeah, get in. Yeah, true. Oh, is that a tip? Yes. yes oh, is that a tip? A tip. Whoa. If you were like us, a bit like our horror night tip, if you can stay up later, come to the late night show in yeah, because you'll get in. This is a jazzy take on the hot What? One, I would like a set of headphones on my head for listening to Chelsea Dago, but that finishes in two minutes. Yeah. So that's short lived. Yeah. But what is a jazzy take on rock? I don't know. Have you ever heard a jazzy take on rock? No, but guess who's going to wear it? You are. Yeah. going to watch a film on board but this is where you find it what floor are we on uh this is six so we're on deck six these are the films and i like the lights and the the velvet red it's quite small got the red curtain i imagine that'll go across and you'll see the screen one two three four five i can't tell you what film's going to be shown here but there you go, inside one of the cinema screens. Okay, so we forgot to sign out last night. We had too much of a good time and that's why I'm wearing sunglasses now. It's the next morning. We're actually up for breakfast though, so stay tuned for that next video because we made it. Yes, um, and we definitely did forget to sign out as well. It wasn't um, <laughs> as a result of an incoherent end of the vlog at 2 a.m. last night, but if you have liked the video, Please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. And do subscribe to the channel for our future videos as well. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Good night, sailors.